Welcome to another very special edition of McGuire's Car Crazy. We are SEMA Television here at the SEMA Show in Las Vegas, the largest automotive trade-only show in the world. And being a world event, car guys from around the world are here with their cars as our guests for you to enjoy. 450 horsepower, a handcrafted chassis. Irrespective of global economic forecasts, the car hobby has enjoyed explosive growth in almost every country over the last three years. SEMA is the melting pot for the car hobby, where car guys come from all corners of the earth to share their passion for cars. As you say, we're born car crazy. You know, everybody loves cars. This culture is, is growing and growing also. So get ready to see how the entire world is going car crazy. We travel the world to talk with men and women who are passionate car guys to find out what makes people emotionally connected to their cars. It's time to get to the heart of the car guy. This is Car Crazy. Welcome to another very special edition of McGuire's Car Crazy. Coming today from the SEMA show. And you know what? In spite of all the economic problems, this show is bigger and better than ever. And even more exciting for me is the fact that the global presence here is out of sight. So let's go talk to some of the car guys of the world. But before we talk to our international guests, let's get the inside scoop on SEMA from the guys who make it happen. There isn't any other entity in the world that has had the impact in the car hobby as SEMA. It just isn't. I mean, it's it's just it stands alone. The incredible thing to me is when we travel around other parts of the world, the same people with the same heart for what we do exist in <laughs> other parts up. of the world. Isn't that the truth? And they show up for us. Oh, so preach it, brother. They show up preach for it, brother. <laughs> it might not say SEMA, but they have their events, and sooner or later yeah. it'll mix together. We've always had a lot of international buyers come to the show, yeah. but for you to bring the, the vehicle owners is, is another first time yeah. for us. Every year at SEMA, we surround ourselves with amazing cars that we feature here at our Car Crazy stage. But this year, we stepped up and brought nine of the cars from countries all over the world. And our first international showcase car is this gorgeous 1978 Falcon, or Torino as we would call it, coming all the way from Australia. You have made so many modifications to this car. Can you kind of run through them just right quick? 351 Cleveland. It's probably only about 450 horsepower. It's just a handcrafted chassis. In Australia, Adam's really known for the whole engineering side, not so much the really elite show car, but build a car that goes, performs, handles. This, yeah, and, yeah, but also, yeah. 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 Well, That's and you've good. done it all with this car. And as we head inside, you don't have to walk very far to find a passionate car guy exhibitor from some faraway country. This is a company that's just absolutely amazing. A couple of it, they make muffler systems. Euros Rossa. Do yeah, I have that's that right? Correct, yeah. Euros. <laughs> Welcome nice to, to Car you. Crazy Television. <laughs> this is a great booth. This is the second time you guys have been here. Yes, we are the second time at yeah. this year. Give us your background. You work with motorcycles first. Yes, exactly. We started working with cars in 2007. And at that time, we have our first OEM project for Porsche. And that, that, that was a good place to start. This was a good place to start. Yes, we started with the most difficult projects yeah, possible. Yeah. You got to tell us about the car hobby yeah. in Slovenia. People are really interested in cars, in, uh, I don't know, changing things, upgrading, racing. We have car clubs for some special brands. I don't know, they are mini enthusiasts. This culture is it's growing and growing also in our country. So. And from Slovenia to the People's Republic of China, let's check in on Li Han's outrageous Toyota Celica. What was the inspiration for making the car take on this, this personality? Uh, actually, um, I went to New Zealand and I saw a movie. That's uh, Fast and Furious. Fast and Furious. Yeah, and then uh, Spider-Man. Yeah. Actually, um, I, was, I wasn't a fan in, into <laughs> Spider-Man, but once I saw the car highlights, yeah. I found it's, it's like yeah. Spider-Man eyes. Yeah. So my, my inspiration was from, from there. Wow. Let's talk about the, the car hobby in, uh, in China in general, specifically Beijing. Uh, a lot of car guys in Beijing. Yes, that's, um, they, the car scene has growing really fast. It's a new phenomenon. I mean, we go back five, six years, you really couldn't do this to your cars in China. 
Yeah, that's illegal. Was allowed, was illegal. So the, illegal. the laws are starting to open up now. And yeah, it's really because fun they, to... they can see the market and then they can feel yeah, people's passion exactly. into the car. Exactly. Yeah. Leon, thanks for coming. Yeah, thank you. Love your passion. Back with more of our Car Crazy Friends in just a minute. When we come back, we'll check in with our friends from one of the car craziest countries in the world, Brazil. Brazil is, is crazy oh, for cars. Yeah. yeah. Then we'll visit with car guys from Costa Rica, Canada, Colombia, Mexico, Sweden, and more. If you're a car guy, you can't miss this. Welcome back to McGuire's Car Crazy. We're here at the SEMA show where the best of the best show cars from across the United States are put on display every year. This year, we've gone international, hosting a car show within this show. We've actually shipped in the best show cars from all over the world and putting on an international car show. Is that cool or what? Next up at our international showcase is this very rare Faria, the perfect combination of Italian passion and Brazilian flair. One of the best things about this international thing we're doing here with all these cars is to talk about the hobby. I, I preach about it all the time in the show as well. It's an international phenomenon. It's going on all over. Yeah, Brazil has a huge community of car enthusiasts, you know? We have more than 115 cars shows in Brazil. Car shows? Brazil, yeah, Brazil. And the largest show, we have 300,000 people in four days, you know? Wow. 600 cars, antique cars, muscle cars, American cars, Italian cars. Classic, so, all yeah, types, class, yeah. All the kind yeah. of cars. Tell us about this special car. This is a Furia. Yeah, it's called Furia. It's a Brazilian prototype car, a racing car that was built by Tony Bianco in 1971. Yeah. So Italian design, yeah, all it, Italian thought. Tony Bianco was a, an Italian designer which came to Brazil in the 60s. Uh -huh. And then a racing team in Brazil asked him to make a racing car for the races. So yeah. he, they, he made this car, the Furia, and there are actually five chassis, but yeah. up to today... Five cars made there in are total. Five, There's only in total, five. five cars. Okay. But today there are only two cars restored, and this is one of them. Brazilian car guys love their cars, embracing makes and models from Europe to Japan to, of course, the US of A, like this hot rod owned by Luis Rodriguez. This kind of car in Brazil is so popular. But we have a lot of difference to manufacture this car there. So in this case, you built this whole car? Yeah. We built everything there. The, the Sigma, Sigma sports car, they built the chassis, the steel chassis, the fiberglass body. They built the suspension arms. It's a really fun car to drive. Tell us about the, the hobby. And you've been, you write about it. So yeah, tell us yeah. about the hobby in, in, in Brazil. I mean, Brazil. it's going crazy. It's, go, it's going crazy. See, we started 10 years ago, and Brazilians are passionate about cars. And we have old cars, muscle cars, brand new cars. Our culture is more like uh, compact cars, but the old cars are becoming bigger and bigger. And you know, you can literally watch the level of sophistication grow as the car hobby matures at different rates in every country. Right now, we're talking about Costa Rica and really all of Latin America. I mean, Carlos Macaya, my dear friend, and I don't, I, don't, I don't have the opportunity to work and have fellowship with anybody more passionate about cars than you, Carlos. As you say, we're born car crazy. Yeah, And I think it, so. it, it runs in I some think families. So. Yeah. But now, introduce Fernando for us and, and Carol for us. Well, please. Fernando of the Noor and Carol are a couple that have been involved and gotten together because of this. So you guys. look at this truck, I mean, for, for a Southern California restoration, this would receive awards. This is, this is really well done. Right. But think about it, it was restored in Costa Rica. In Costa Rica. <laughs> you know what? That's, that takes a lot of heart, a lot of patience. Sure, right? sure, sure. It takes work. a little extra effort. It really does. So yeah. congratulations yeah. for doing that. We're honored to have you, Fernando. Carol, uh, love your patient as well. I don't mind saying real car guys drive their cars, but not until after they debut at SEMA. And some travel halfway around the world to get here. That's why we need car guy car haulers like Passport Transport, who we can trust with our treasures. Go back in history, Bob Pass, my dear friend Bob Pass, created Passport Transport. And I'm, do I have it wrong, or wasn't he the first one to actually create a purpose-built 
enclosed vans to haul around expensive cars. That's right. He took a, a furniture van and turned it into an enclosed car hauler. Yeah. Um, realized that you know high-end cars need to be enclosed and not out and yeah. exposed to the elements, yeah. and uh, he was the first one to do that. You brought all our cars, our international cars. You brought cars in from nine countries. From around the world. China and what have you. We do shipping for all kinds of different markets. We do new cars. We do vintage cars. Pebble yeah. Beach Concord. The, the we best. Do the the options, Pebble Beach and, cars. I yeah. mean, you're talking about multi-million dollar cars here. We a lot of responsibility. We had about $60 million worth of cars on one trailer going into Pebble Beach. Well, you're a major factor around here. Thank you, thank you very much. You're very welcome. Coming up, we'll take a look at a radically modified Mazda RX-7 from Canada before checking in with our Latino car guy neighbors to the south. That passion for cars in, in Mexico, it's, it's, it's great. Then we'll have a fascinating talk with our man in China, Anthony Lance, who's focused on building the car hobby in the People's Republic. Stay with us. Welcome back to McGuire's Car Crazy. We're here at the SEMA Show in Las Vegas, giving you insight into the global car hobby. Up next, our lead car guy in Canada is running hard to stay on top of the Canadian car hobby because it's growing really fast. Darcy, I mean, you run our operation up in Canada. Can you talk to us a little bit about the, the car hobby in Canada? It's just, it's just mind boggling. It really is. It's there a, are, a there's, there's a lot of car crazy guys. Yeah. And, and as you full well know, we, uh, we attend a lot of events. Out of the countless car guy events that Darcy covered for us this year, one car stood the test and was recently crowned Canada's best. This is Matthew Decebo's remarkable RX-7. You know, I came out and I built a, you know, what I think is a car crazy car. Yeah, um, yeah. And, uh, it's a special car for the get-go. I mean, you went all the way to Japan for this car. You just yeah. didn't buy it off the local showroom. No, it's a, it's a very <laughs> rare because uh, North American um, third generation RX-7s uh -huh. started in 93. This is a 92 third generation. They were only built in Japan, so. There's hardly anything on here that's original. I mean, there's so many so many pieces to it that look so different. I mean, you first look at the car, you, you try to scratch your head and figure out what it is. Well, that's, I mean, we've been getting people walking by and I kind of get a kick out and they're saying, you know, hey, what is it, a Viper? When you pull that off, you know you're doing it yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and while we're hanging out with our car guy friends from Canada, two of the top car guys from Canadian Tire stopped by to share their passion. You guys are car guys. Talk about yeah, your, yeah. your personal passion for yeah. a minute. I, uh, I actually watch the show with my six-year-old and three-year-old every Do weekend. Really? Do you really? Yeah. Is that the truth? Yeah. yeah. I can remember as a three and four-year-old going with my dad to the drag tracks because he used to drag race. And you know, when you get that passion in you uh, at a young age, it just it, it never seems to leave. You, you're with it all the time. Yeah. Well, speak as a store owner, what that means to you to be able to have the background of this mo monstrous company, Canadian Tire but the, the local ownership and management and the, and the direct contact with your customers. Yeah, that's exactly what I think the strength of our organization is, is that we get the marketing guys that can go national, like Andrew, and then you get the grassroots yeah. guys like myself that live in the community yeah. and know the guys, all the car guys out there, and you know help them with the car shows and all. It's a, it's yeah. a fantastic marriage. Even the car guys in Mexico are going El Carro Loco. Just check out Fernando Ruiz's sensational Lincoln Zephyr. Fernando, uh, this car, absolutely, I mean, we have so many great cars from all over the world, uh, but it's so wonderful to see a car of this magnitude coming from Mexico. Uh, I've never seen a, Fer uh, a Ferrari-driven Lincoln Zephyr before. This is, this is pretty unusual. Talk about the power plant. Well, uh, the thing is that this car was originally conceived as a, as a V12. Mm -hmm. a tiny pistons, uh, 110 horses, and then when I wanted to, to restore the car, I need to restore mod it, I decided to, to make it a V12 again, instead of placing a, a, a V8. So it was a lack of respect to place a, <laughs> Absolutely. a V8 engine. In the yeah, yeah, There's, the purists are going to hate you for this. But. <laughs> I know, I know, but this is a, the purists also would agree this is an Art Deco conception of a body. Tell us about the car hobby in Mexico. In Mexico, it's, it's blooming. I mean, it's... it's Growing. Yeah, just like anywhere in the world, in the weekends you want to go out and forget about bad things and, yeah. and do what what you like the most. And th that passion for cars in, in Mexico, it's, it's, it's great. When we come back, we'll get a report from jolly old England and then miracles of miracles. The car hobby has been burst in war-torn Colombia. And we have a car and 30 car guys in Colombia to prove it. This car, you just went totally car crazy on. 
We'll check out a black charger that's so sweet, all the way from Sweden. And then we'll get Chip Foose's take on the global car hobby. Don't you dare go away. Welcome back to McGuire's Car Crazy. We're here at the SEMA Show in Las Vegas. As you can see, this is the happening place for car guys all over the world. Car guys in the UK are deeply passionate about their cars, no matter what they are. Just listen to our lead car guy in England, Steve King, and how much Greg Howe loves his award-winning VW Golf. Give us a little glimpse of the car hobby in the UK before we talk to Greg. Well, it's, uh, it's a really active scene. From the older guys with the vintage and the classic cars, right the way through to the youngsters who are just getting their driving license and building their first cars. Yeah. It's all about, uh, yeah. it's all about being different, having something that's, uh, that's unique. As a participant, as somebody it's right where the rubber meets the ground, uh, tell, us, tell us what you see as the car hobby in the, in the UK. Um, it's, it's getting bigger, the car hobby. I yeah. mean, it's, uh, every single year, the standard's getting higher and higher. Well, talk about the length of detail you went to restore this car. I mean, what kind of condition was it in? It was in fairly good condition. It? it had been fairly well looked uh -huh. after. It was a one-owner car. Mm -hmm. What's the best part of the car? What do you enjoy most about being a car guy? Driving it. Do you? Yeah, definitely. The driving is yeah, 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 definitely. Get it out there. And... Yeah. Up next, this little car is making a big impact on Columbia proving to Colombians that the car hobby brings out the best in people. Surprisingly, the country that has the biggest turnout of all the car guys to support their car is the country of Colombia. <laughs> Yuri Bustos, Yuri, great to have you here. This car, you just went totally car crazy on. It's a 98 Honda Civic. You wouldn't know that by looking at it because you've changed it so much, but yeah. you have done so many modifications. Uh, explain some of those modifications for us. I mean, you have a waterfall in the back. The um, engine is 300 power with a turbo, uh -huh. with uh -huh. a nitro. Uh -huh. I hear it's quite a popular car. That's why it was able to be representing Colombia here. This is a very popular car in Colombia. Yeah, the first time, the first time here and outside the, our country. And from birthing the car hobby in Colombia, let's check in with our own Anthony Lance, who's at the forefront of birthing the car hobby in China. How are you adjusting, my friend? I mean, this is, a, this is a, talk about a culture shock. Yeah, it's a different kind of place, it is. <laughs> but it's a lot of fun. And we've made a lot of friends in Hong Kong and really all throughout Asia. Yeah, yeah you're helping form car shows, help, the, the concept yeah. of car shows. We're trying to organize events so that people can interact and, and, and enjoy that relationship yeah. that's being yeah. built with yeah. their cars. Already in China, we've got 190 uh, just over 190 car clubs. That just goes to show wow. already, there's a lot of guys that really wow. want to get together. They want wow. to have events. Wow. They want to modify their cars together. They Isn't want to do something, something fun. The thing is that you, a guy buys a car, he says, I love the car, I'm willing to spend, you know, a crazy amount of money maybe, yeah. Uh, yeah. because they're imported, you know, they're very expensive yeah. cars. Expensive but the guy cars. says, I love my car, but I don't know how to love my car. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. so we have wow. the pleasure of saying, yeah, hey, you love us. your car. Oh, Here's man. what you can do with your car. Have this event. Here's what you can do with your car, you know, uh, do something fun with it, modify it. Thanks for all you're Thank doing you for us. Hey, you know what? For all our Chinese-speaking viewers, you got to take us out of this one. Speak to, <laughs> speak to that camera and give a little yeah. greeting, okay? Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, 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 and then it's an incredible midnight black charger from Sweden that's getting a whole lot of attention. We have cars over there, over 15,000 American cars. You don't want to miss this. We have a lot of cars from around the world that we're showing off here, and each one of their car owners and restorers. In this case, it's the same. He's a car owner, he's a car restorer. Johan Eriksson, Johan, great to have you on the stage. Oh, no. This car is getting so much attention out here. I mean, there's crowds around. Yeah. It just, it's incredible. I can never and, think of that. And it's everybody is saying, you know, this car is from Sweden. I'd say, of course it's from Sweden. Yeah. Because Sweden is the number one country in the world 
for hot rods and custom cars outside the United States. Yeah. There's thousands and thousands of just really great American cars. Talk about the culture for a minute. Before we talk about your car, let's talk about the American car culture in yeah. Sweden. In Sweden, you know, it's it's crazy. It's been more and more in the last 10 years, it has been exploded. It's it's crazy there in Sweden. And <laughs> we have car shows there uh, one week in July in Westeros. There are over 15,000 American cars. 15? Did you thousand, get that? 15,000 15, American cars yeah. in one of the car in shows. In one tow. <laughs> yes. So when you started, did you have this car in mind? Did no, you see it no, like no. this? No, 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 no. I, I, uh, my dream yeah. was to have a black Charger with a Super Short. I love the okay. Super Short. All right. We do that, paint it black, put a, a Super Short in it, and uh, put it down, b take big wheels, tires on it, and then we take it out on the road. And everywhere we come, it, people was crazy about it. Talk about the the, uh, the community, the, the, the camaraderie. Yeah, it's so easy. Out. If you're standing with a car, and come, everyone come around and they know about the, <laughs> So it's easy to talk to everyone. Isn't that something? Cars yeah. break down all yeah, the barriers, yeah, all yeah, the yeah, social yeah. barriers. Coming from the whole world. We've been looking at cars from all over the world, and now let's talk with a car guy who's known all over the world. You're growing all over the world. The Poots Day is a global name now. Thank you. I talk about it all the time. Let's let Chip Poots talk about the car <laughs> hobby globally. You know, everybody loves cars, and especially in Latin America. I, I, you know, that the car is one of their largest investments, and they cherish it. They do. And they, they do. and they keep redoing them. So they're Dude. buying paint, they're buying right. Meguiar's to keep them clean. <laughs> but yeah, everybody is just yeah, I mean, in the, love with their car. Around Latin America, I mean, just amazing. And the American cars that are down there. You, yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, you go down there, you almost think you're in Southern California. Right. <laughs> well, I was just in uh, Colombia. Okay. Oh and I goodness. visited his shop. Yeah. He probably had 15 Camaros in there. He had <laughs> Cudas, Challengers. I mean, all these American muscle that cars amazing. in this shop. And he has a television show that's based on American muscle cars. It's, it's pretty it's, neat. It's really something. Mm -hmm. How about Sweden? Talk about Sweden. Sweden is crazy. They have that, uh, <laughs> what are they, the custom motor show. Yeah. <laughs> that uh, I've been to that several times. Is that amazing? 90,000 people coming through there in the weekend. That's 1% yeah. of their entire population. <laughs> Can you imagine going to a show with 1% of America there? <laughs> what other places on the planet have you found exactly? I mean, like, it's really impressed you how, how the, it's going Japan, so fast. Brazil is, is crazy oh, for cars. Yes. Yeah. All Latin America. Yeah. You know, I've been to uh, New Zealand. I haven't been to Australia yet. I would love to go to yeah, Australia. Yeah. Have you well, been there? You no, know, you're there. You're there. Yeah. That... Your name's all over the place. Everybody in Australia knows who Poos is. <laughs> but I have to apologize to Australia. I haven't been there yet. I hope to get there. <laughs> but you're there. <laughs> Thank you. With all the crowd you see behind me filling the aisles, you'd never guess it's Friday afternoon. This show is getting ready to close. Only at SEMA. I got to tell you, I've been going to trade shows for about 40 years. I hate to say it. But the last day of any trade show is getaway day. Nobody's there. But at this show, it's always the same. It's seen with the passion never ends. In fact, for the thousands of new products we've been introduced this week to the global marketplace, we're just getting started. See you next time.